What's up guys, Epic Reptiles here. And today I will be giving you an update. Later we will show you the females outdoors. And I'm just gonna give you a whole little rundown of what I got going on. So the first one I'm gonna show you is my male purple 100% albino. I had him for a while already. He's coming out of the shed right now. So this is Scar right now. It's not looking his best. Big boy. So. So right here, you see? Sometimes I just help him shed a little bit, especially around the eyes. But anyway. So he's a big boy, haven't produced anything. Uh, me trying to be a table breeder is, is a challenge because um, the males are ready, but the females is up to the females. They don't want to go. So I try to separate uh, males and females for like two or three weeks and introduce them again. And that's it, man. Let's see how it goes this season. And now the next one we have is the Super Gager Titan. From Carlos, Tropical Reptiles. He's also in shed, but this guy is really pretty. He has a heel going through from the front of his head all the way to his tail. But he's in shed right now, so he's not looking his best. But if you see right here, you see some of that blue. He has the whole his whole back blue. Pretty, pretty animal. And here we go with number three. This is a Pink Panther, AKA Pet Ruby Red Male. Most of my animals are in shed, so you cannot really see his colors that great. But this boy has a lot of color, a lot of orange and red coming down his back. Possibly had albino. So, let's we'll see if I can try to pair him up this season with a different female because his, his female is still too young and too small. So, there you go. Also from Tropical Reptiles. I don't know what I just said. And one of the other ones I have is a Paguan from Underground Reptiles. Take him out. Nice little big boy. Like I said, all my animals are in shed, so it sucks. But he has a lot of white on his back. And all of them got sharp nails. I gotta cut this shit. But, um, that little clip tail. Anyway, other than that, he's pretty nice, pretty cool. A little nervous, but other than that, pretty dark red. So right here is one of my favorites from Underground Reptiles. These are the high white reds. This is my man, Big Red. He's a beast. I just woke him up. He's also in shed. But look at the size of this male. Amazing. Amazing. He's in shed, so you can't see his good color. Try to pair him up to a random female. And she took his toe, man. So this shit is crazy. You're trying to breed our tegus. It's not easy. This is my third season trying to pair animals up. Have no luck trying to produce these awesome animals. And this is Big Rat. And here we have another one from Underground Reptile. These are the 
original black and white Argentine tables from Underground Reptiles. I like these guys that night. They have a lot of white and a lot of black. And this guy has orange too. He's pretty, he loves to bite. These are one of my aggressive takers. But if you see behind his bag, he has orange and the white really pops right now. He don't look that impressive, but um, super nice. I um, would like to pair him up with all the female, but she aggressive. So try to introduce these guys again and you know, see how it goes. That's it. He's getting up there, he's pretty big. And here we got from Tropical Reptiles. These are the 100% Pet Anery Reds. These are two males I have. So I have one of the males right here. Pretty colors, high white on the side. A lot of red on the back. And these guys are getting pretty big. This one only has like a missing nail. That's about it. And they didn't shed. All the animals on their shed. Sucks. So this is the second male. 100% cat anery. Looking amazing. Looking nice. Again, a high white on the side. And a lot of red on the back. And this one is in perfect condition. I don't think he's missing anything. Oh, he got all his nails. And he's a little smaller than the other one, but these guys are crazy eaters. They eat anything you give them. So, nice little project. So, let me show you guys some of my bull python projects, updates, and let you know what's happening. Right here we have my female firefly pie. She just laid um, first first time laying and she just ate the next day after she laid five beautiful eggs um, got them on newspaper that's what she a little bit stained but she look amazing amazing so she's doing awesome happy she's back on the move got my pastel GHI female got it clean today, so excuse the mess. So this, this is her right here. Nice and big for next season. She should definitely produce something. So I love the pattern, I like the color. That's big. Right here we got our clown lesser female. And shed a little bit. She just ovulated not too long ago. So she might lay, she might not. Depends up to her. She might have a small clutch, maybe. That's her right there. Amazing. Yeah, so most of my snakes, I got them from Reptile Creation, so check them out. Um, this one is from a different breeder. This is the father who fathered the clutch on the firefly pie. This is a lavender, 100% head pie. And he also bred with the lesser clown female. So I hope I get something out of that. And this is the only male I had up who was ready to breed. And he's a lazy breeder. On the baby rack, we have Reptile Creation is an orange stream and cheap pie male. He's amazing. I wish I was able to use him this season, but he's too young. But next season, definitely. So check out the pattern, the orange on the side. Can't wait to put him into something to create the orange stream. Or super orange stream. I see one. Well. Next uh, one I have is a 
female. That's the sister of the Firefly female. Um, this is a super Firefly pie. Um, was a picky eater. And not no more. She's in a deep shed right now. And I just scared her. But, um, she is a high white female. High white pie. Can't wait to bring her to something, but you see her nice and pink. Let's see her. Thigh, we have the yellow belly inchy pie male from Justin Kowoka. Alright, that's not his name. I was hoping he bred, but he wasn't ready this season. So I'm gonna try to pair him up to something else for next season. All that pattern, that Angie, it brings all that pattern into the pie. It's crazy what Angie does. And the yellow belly, just look at that flame. Amazing, amazing out of it. He's a eater too. This next female is a pastel clown. I just took off the water dish because she spilled it. I can't wait to pair this female up with one of my males. She will reach size. She's a little young right now, so I gotta wait until next year. Maybe. But it's always nice to have your pies and clown combos. And that's it. Start working on dumb and recessive projects. All right, guys, so you guys saw the Bull Python collection. I'm gonna be adding new ones later on. Um, and I designed this incubator out of a refrigerator. So first time me using it, I, I made this like at least two years ago. So I'm trying it out, all the temperatures are good, and I got my first clutch in here. So got to, uh, I'm gonna cut it in 55 days and see what I have. I hope I got some good stuff. A little bit of what I'm doing down here. Most of the reptile equipments are run by smart devices. So I have a, a hub that controls hydrometers I got here. And then I have them in the incubator so when the temperature drops, it will alert me on my phone. Um, I'm able to control the smart plugs, turning them on, off, putting them on the timer. Also with the incubator, if anything goes wrong, if I'm not home, I can just turn the power off of the incubator and run, rush home and, you know, save my clutches. So, what's going on guys? So out here, I have some of the babies. Most of the time, they're inside in the basement, but I bring them out here for some natural sun. Albino. So let me show you the progress of these guys. Most of the time they are indoor, but I do take them out for natural sun. So this is the female, pure blue. She's getting nice and big. This is for from Rose, Rose City Reptiles. She's doing great. And let me show you the other one. He's doing amazing too. This is the male. Marshmallow Lion Albino from Carlos Tropical Reptiles. It's getting nice and big too. He has really deep dark purple. Look at that, look at that neck. He has a little bit of color in his neck, you see that? It's amazing. So he's getting nice and big. Second pair of drums now I've got is the High Black from Rogue City Reptiles. Some big and black. So look how dark this animal is getting. He's puffing up right now. He's not used to being outside. And you see over here everything's getting really dark. 
Let me show you the female. He's way darker than the female. Females looking nice too. Some orange on the neck. She's very nice and big too. But he's or the third thing I'm gonna show you. purple has a lot of high white on the side a lot of different type of colors in the back so this is from underground reptiles see the belly the female is going nice and big Same, same details with her. White on the side, orange in the back, that gold color. And then she got that, some type of drop, teardrop, both sides of the eyes. Let me look at it. Pretty cool. Then she got an orange. For the number four in the list, has her by herself right now. Pet ruby red female. She's getting nice and big. Look at all that color. This is from Tropical Reptiles. Look at all that orange. This is a pink panther. Pet for Ruby Red. Amazing. The male looks even bigger than this female. So she has a lot of color. I like how the ears have some orange in it. She's nice. So this is an update on Pablo Cage. I designed this cage indoors. It works better outdoors. So I gotta get a second cage for the winter time. So I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna bring them out. It's a little crazy right now. Keep them back. This is from Florida Iguana Tortoise Breeders. And I have also the female for him. So he is great. And super affectionate. So this is Fox right here. He can go under. It was raining. And he got his little little shelves up here and it's easy to clean so, good boy. Good boy. so this is Pablo girlfriend she is a female Cuban rock she don't like to be touched outside but um, she's pretty See the, her features, smaller animal. The colors are amazing. She's shutting. These guys are really smart. Uh, close to a dog, to tell you the truth. Once you raise them up, you have that bond.
purple female. All of these enclosures, I have the males and females separated. All the females are out, outdoors for like two weeks, taking a break from the males. They're a little dirty right now, they're in the shed. This is the purple female F3 generation, 100% albino from underground reptiles. She's not a big girl, she got a lot of color. Still haven't produced anything. Here, he's lucky. This is a rescue. This is a super blue female. So she has a lot of color. Um, her, her mouth, that's how she came to me. Uh, she had a little rough, a little rough life a little bit. But uh, she's doing good. And that's it. She got a little bit of her mouth missing. A little bit of her toes missing. But other than that, look at that fat belly. She's in shape too. Here we got one of my favorite pairs ever. These are the high white reds produced by underground reptiles. The male got a little bit aggress aggressive with her, so he tried to breed her a little too rough. She, she wasn't having it, so she's stealing. But look at the high white on the side. This is what happens when you try to breed them. Um, some animals are just not compatible. But uh, she has a lot of white by her mouth, white on the side, and the size of this female is huge. She is healing. She will have a little bit of scar, but um, it's typical for a breeding pair. So, this is one of my favorite girls. So, this next one is from Tropical Reptile. This is a red female. Got a lot of white. She's not the front of this. Grab her. She don't like to be held. Something about the head energy is just a little feisty. Um, I don't know why. But they're all in shed, so you can't really see their colors. But she got some nice. So this next one is from Underground Reptile. This is a Kaguyan Red Female. So. It's pretty bright. They only shed right now. Her name is Stubby because the male bred her tail and it generated and it looks weird. Very right, Stubby, but she's a she's a great animal. So this next one is from Underground Reptiles. from the breeding attempts but uh she's really high white and she's got nice color pretty girl so she likes to fight the males the last female we have a argentine Whitehead, female, rescue. She's a little, a little grumpy being outdoors, but uh, she's a big girl. She likes to eat. Most of the tail is down. Here. 